Hi everybody, I'm going to show you something I use with a lot of my students for drums. And it's a simple concept um, of keeping something as the constant and something changes. So what I mean by that is the bass will be on one and three and the snare will be on two and four and that will be your constant throughout this whole thing. So for instance, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those are quarter notes and the hi-hat will change. It's gonna start with quarter notes, then go to eighth notes, and then go to 16th notes. So for example, I'll play the whole thing and then it will, after 16th notes, it will go back to eighth notes. So it will kind of go up and back down. One, two, three, four. Counting one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the one and two and three and four and one. Always good to end your beats with the downbeat, which is beat one, or downbeat with a cymbal, bass drum, or crash bass drum, whatever works. I'm gonna play that a little faster. Three, four. Now for advanced students, you can go a little bit farther and do something like this, where between the eighth notes and the 16th notes, you can put triplets. So here's the example. One, two, three, four. So the next rhythmic idea can be applied to your fills as well. So I will not count this tom because I have four toms. I'm going to count this as tom one, tom two, and tom three, which is the floor tom. So I'm going to go quarters, eighths, triplets, sixteenth notes, and it's really good to have a good control of your rhythm and be able to do this. It's also very good to be able to do this to the metronome. For now, it will be without the metronome. So three, four, and one. speed.